Hey there guys, Mark here. Welcome to another one of my videos. In this one, we're going to be making our wrist lanyard out of paracord. Here is an example of the style of a lanyard. It consists out of our wrist loop, a decorative knot, and a smaller loop for holding various items. A set of keys, a pocket knife, bear spray, whatever you need. In my opinion, this sort of a lanyard is quite useful when you don't want to carry items in your pocket. Let's take a look at the supplies needed to make the lanyard. The first thing that you're going to need for the lanyard is two pieces of paracord, one four and a half feet long and the other nine feet long. A tying tool, such as a lacing needle, marlin spike or a fed is recommended. It's not absolutely needed, but it makes your job a bit easier. Finally, scissors and a lighter are going to help us cut and melt our cords. To tie my lanyard, I'm going to take the longer out of my two cords. This one is 9 feet long. I'm going to fold it in half and create a loop. Usually, I place my loop over a door handle to hold it in place. I pick up my second cord and I'm going to feed it through my loop like this so that one end goes top down through the loop. I make sure that my two ends are of equal length. So these two ends are of equal length and these two as well. Now I'm going to pass the left end from my first cord over to the right. Now I start a four-stranded round braid. Top left end passes behind, in between the two strands on the right and back to the bottom on the left. The top right strand passes behind, in between the two strands on the left and back to the bottom on the right. And the top left strand passes behind in between the two strands on the right and back to the bottom on the left. Top right strand passes behind in between the two strands on the left and back to the bottom on the right. And again, top left Top right. Top left. Top right. We're going to braid this until we get a sufficient length for our loop plus a bit extra. When you braid a sufficient length, bring the two ends of your braid together and try out your loop. You want a nice snug fit onto your hand. We are now going to work in the four ends coming from the braid back into the braid. I'm going to start with these two ends and I'm going to place them here over the second and third strand. This one is going to follow this one and this one is going to follow this one.
लाइक दस देन और अदर टू स्ट्रेंथ दिस वन इज गोइंग टू फॉलो दिस वन सो द थर्ड वन आउट ऑफ दिस एंड दिस वन इज गोइंग टू फॉलो द सेकंड वन like this pull on all of your strands to tighten up your breathing and keep working your hands into the braid until you reach the top so again this strand follows this one here this one follows this one this one follows this one and this one follows this one keep working your strands in until you reach here the top So when you get all of the ends to the very top of the braid next to the loop pull on all of the ends to really lock your strands in like this we are now going to trim these two shorter ends and we are going to melt them we are now going to cover up this joint section using a decorative knot this is a double top 7 part 4 byte turx head to make things easier to see i'm going to cover the joint section using a paper tube you don't have to do this You can tie your knot directly over the joint section. We are going to use one of our ends for now. Leave the other one to the side. If you have one, attach a lacing needle onto your end. Wrap around like this and pass over the standing end. come around and pass over here so over this cord then we're going to travel the opposite to this cord 
going under and over. Wrap around, coming to the standing hand. Pass under it, like this, and on the left, double it up. So under over, like this, and under. So under over under. Then travel parallel to this chord. So double it up. Under. Over two. Under one. Then come to the standing hand and pass over it. We're going to split the standing end and the strand doubling it up. We're going to travel between them and to do the opposite. We start it under, over to, under, and over. Then we're going to split these two parallel strands, traveling between them and doing the opposite. Under, over, under, over, under, and over. Like this. Then place your working hand alongside the standing hand, and this completes our knot. Just to make things a bit easier, I'm going to loosen it up slightly. So I just work a bit of slack into my knot. Like this. Now take your other end again. I'm going to attach a lacing needle and I'm going to double up the knot starting at the first standing end. I simply follow the standing end all through the knot until I reach the working hand of my first chord. So as you can see, we are doubling up the knot. Like this. When you reach the first standing end, 
Our knot is doubled up. Before we continue, we're going to take our two ends and we're going to bring them under the knot to the right, just to hide them out of sight. I'm going to travel here, just behind the two standing ends, and tuck my two working ends under the knot, like this. So this is our knot. Now we need to tighten it up. We start at one of our standing ends. We run the slack through the knot and into one of the ends. Then, start at the other standing end and repeat, again going through the knot, removing slack. like this. So, we are getting a nice looking decorative knot. Repeat the tightening process at least once more until you get a nice looking knot. Once your knot is tightened up, trim the two ends as close to the knot as possible. Then, roll the knot under a plank to get a more consistent look. And that's our project for today. Thank you for joining me, consider supporting the site on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.